What is happening, guys? Cowboy here, and we're back, ready to continue on. So I looked it up, and apparently the way he did it is that every now and then, a, uh, a drop will occur, and quite simply, you'll just get nothing for it. That's actually intended. It's supposed to... It's, well, the idea is, you know, how sometimes you just you end up getting, like, nothing off an enemy. It's the equivalent of that. Um, I don't know why he did that. I think it doesn't really make sense, because enemies can just not drop things. It's not like every enemy drops a piece of loot. But regardless, that's the way it is. Um, so yeah, figured out the reasoning. And if I don't agree with it, uh, that is the reasoning. Anyway, let's go on top, kill this lady, free the pyromancer. <laughs> Bitch, you about to get doo-dooed on. Boom! Like, it's... Oh, my God. I actually spent some time looking at different weapons. Um, just, like, watching people play with uh, Corvian Great Knife, as well as with the Drain Twin Spears. Oh, never mind. This isn't the Paladin. He's somewhere else. Um, I think part of it is just because I've, I've done... I've done strength weapons so, so much. Um... But at the same time, I've never really, like, done a build like, hey, let's use Profane Greatsword. So it could be fun to use it, you know? It's a solid Ultra Greatsword. Uh, the reach could be better, but it has ridiculous AR. There's, you know, no no discussion there. The AR of this thing is great. Um, the flame attack is great. There's a lot to really like about this. gonna die here, but I wanna get the loots. Dark armor, leggings of thorns, brass gauntlets, mirror trousers, dried finger, fire bombs. Oh, God! Lightning east-west shield. Oh, God. I'm gonna die. Should've gone and talked to dude before I went to do this. What do we got here? Brave Warden skirt. I can avoid enough of this bullshit. While running around to get the loot will be good. <laughs> I think we are officially out of a uh, out of firing range. We're all four prong prow. Oh god. It's like we are not out of range yet. Oh my god, why did it hit me but not him? Way of the white corona. Potentially one of the worst DPS faith moves ever created. There's obviously a lot to this area, but since we're right here, um, I'm gonna go ahead and kill Nutsack Monster. I mean, I might as well, you know. Maybe he'll have an Estus Flask shard for me. Which actually, you know what, what's my. Yeah, let's go get our 15 faith just to have on that, uh, have on that, uh, the meat heal. Med heal. I call it meat heal. It's not like you're pouring beer over yourself to rejuvenate. So that would be awesome. I mean, I guess that's kind of what you do with Way of the White Corona. Except instead you're just throwing beer at sober people. Ashen this way. A weakling it would. And all of I'm a... Yeah, boom, boom. Yep, tight night shards. Life ring. I shards. I need a. Uh, need these to upgrade profaned anyway. Um, what was I about to do? Yeah, so that, that. Ashen one. Ashen one. Ashen one. Damn. Alright, getting uh <laughs> getting our 15 faith is gonna be harder than I thought, even if I eat that boss soul. Not getting 15 faith just yet. Try. 
we're gonna have to be careful here. Because only going into this with three heals. And I could turn my Ash Estus into one, but I don't know. I feel like it would be good to keep it around just for the sheer sake of being able to get my FP back up. I do use the weapon arm quite a bit. Assassin armor. Ow, come on, man. Did you fucking not do that? Probably be a good idea to go grab this bonfire, just so that I don't have to make this run again. I mean, it doesn't take long to get there. Let's go, we'll go snatch it. That way, if I do die, have it. There's actually there's a lot of loot here. We're gonna be, like I said, this area is gonna take probably a couple episodes. Simply because, you know, going the, uh... Cell key. Which one is that? Cell key. You're the oldest cell in all of Irithyll Dungeon. I think that's the one we need for, uh, Onion Bros quest. I'm not misremembering things. Katarina leggings. How did get up there? Is like over here somewhere? A ladder. It's been so long. I gotta like drop down to get to the ladder. So we go this way. Right here. Come on, fall. Damn. Young dragon ring. It is pretty funny how Kornick's ashes were in the, the loot pool. Like, even though he's still over here and he's perfectly alive and we can buy things from him, I already have his ashes. Aha! Well, I, I, I hear Kato learns. Ah, <laughs> Pine resin. Completely fucking useless given how underwhelming poison is. Mm. Uh, yeah, might as well just top our health off. Won't hurt. feel really stupid now. I'm like, yeah, let me just run right here and then uh, let me just roll and take damage. Completely negating out everything I just did. One good thing is that even while being unupgraded, this sword will still hit like a freaking truck. And since uh, the damage to him is AR based, should be able to push him into his... Uh, Basically break the balls and get them to fall down really, really quickly. An asshole.
promotion. Oh shit. Just there we go. fucking damage on that. Well, how that did not hit me, but okay. Come on, stop with the, the fucking stuff. Ah! Stop this. Nicely. Um, I know you have one like on this ankle somewhere, don't you? I could just, just get in. Do this. Oh shit! Not what I wanted to happen at all. Oh man, come on! I've come way too far to die to this. Oh fuck! Pop that hand. There's that, that one on the leg. I think the only real good one is the one that's... Let's see if I can... There's that under the leg right there. That should work. I can dodge the hand and get one. Oh, fuck. I've never seen him actually stand back up. That worked out really well. That is crazy, though. And all the times I have killed him, I have never seen him stand up like that after he's been knocked down. That's really fucking neat, actually. Got the wolf ring plus one. Known. Pontiff Knight Curve Sword, which is pretty sweet. A bonfire. There didn't used to be a bonfire down here, was there? Oh no, that's right. You're supposed to do. I think I'm. If I remember, I think I'm supposed to do Audric's quest before I fought that guy. So. It's like we're a little bit too late for that. That's okay, though. 
I'm not that worried about it. I wasn't going to be a mound maker anyway. I'm bro for life. Let's go up and we'll go get all this loot. Soul mass. Fuck yeah, dude. You could probably be an extra spicy sorcerer playing through this with the spells you're getting so early. I think this is a. Oh, yeah, damn it. Garb. Maybe I can, I can get one of them to open it. No, looks like that's not going to happen. The other bonfire I go. Get that open. The more I'm thinking about it, I think I may, I may do the Dren Twin Spears, despite them not being known as a stupendous weapon. Um, spears, they they go very well with a shield, and I'm all about using the Great Shield. This is it's such a nice Ultra Great Shield, considering how light it is and the fact that it has the poise boost. Like it's it's a solid shield. You know, like, yeah, I could be, like, super poised boy and use Yorms, but this is a really solid great shield considering the weight. And if I'm going to go for a defensive playstyle, having a spear to couple with the great shield does make sense. Spears and great shields go very well together because you just, you know, you chill behind your, your shield. You hit stuff. It's just that the Profane Greatsword is fucking sweet. That open? But at the same time, I don't have anything to upgrade the Profane Greatsword with. I need scales. Whereas, if I were to spend, like, a little bit of the souls I have right now, I would have enough to snatch up. I could basically put the Twin Spears almost to plus 10. I don't have a slab, but that's it. That's all I'm missing. Like how even, even in the randomizer, still just rubbish in that spot to fuck with you. Ambush. It's another really cool weapon that I've never really done a build with, just because it's a pain in the ass to get them to drop it. If I re like, I'm trying to remember, but I want to say it's actually like a really rare drop. Do the another Nana just it's a grand he a Nana's never so coming to the another he and so. No, if it matters if you're alive or not, let's find out. Find out in a second if it was either killing him or. I think you can kill the tree and still go there and join the covenant even without Hodrick alive. I think killing the guy I just killed may have triggered uh, 
mage man to not be happy with me. So I mean, I'll find out in a second here. Yep, he does not seem happy with me. You killed my little brother! Usually falls all the way down. Mm -hmm. I don't think I'm surviving this jump here. In reality, you're not supposed to be over here unless you're using that guy to get out. Got bones. No, oh, wait, never mind. Go this way. Oh, I have no Estus. I might as well use a bone. Yes. Spend the souls. Spend the souls. Build up the faith we need. The other thing, I don't have any white branches, so... Talking to the giant won't do anything for me either. Fuck. Oh, close. About 10,000 souls. The one thing that I've always hated about, um, about playing as a depraved, deprived, deprived, however the fuck you're supposed to say it, everyone always has to comment, it's depraved, it's deprived, it's depreed. Like, no, I don't even fucking care. If you don't know that I butcher words by now, then you haven't been paying attention. But anyway, um, I always hate how, like, every stat has to be at 10, like, I mean, on one hand, it's like, oh, yeah, you know, you're starting at level one, so you get to really customize your build and make it perfect. But that's not really true. Because, like, if you're going to be playing as, like, a strength build, you know, starting and leveling as a barbarian is going to be better. Simply because you'll be able to hit your stat threshold sooner. Even though I'm at level one, you know, the reality of the situation is, a lot like the luck, I got no reason to have luck at ten. I don't need intelligence at 10. Half these stats I don't need where they're at. But with a randomizer, it kind of makes sense because it's like, I don't know what I'm going to be. I could be a strength build. Could be the twin spears. Damn. Got cooked. Damn, that hurt. Best cleanse these nuts with your mouth. Big mama rat. Did she not show up until I'm in the fog, maybe? It's old an old hand. Oh, there's mama rat. Jesus. Grand archives key. Wow. It's a fucking good thing I came down here. That would have been... Oh, imagine getting all the way through Lothric and not having that and being like, Where? Where is the key? I need the goddamn key! Let's open 
that. Uh, I got two flasks. I should be okay. Dragon Slayer armor, dude. And I got the Dragon Slayer helm already. Jailer robe, like there. I'm, I'm getting some fucking amazingly top tier armor fashion choices, and the only thing holding me back is the lack of vitality I currently have. And even if I don't do a strength build, like, I'm gonna miss that, dude. Fucking... Something incredibly satisfying about golf swinging. Like, golf swinging things never gets old. I mean, when I think about all the weapons of Dark Souls 3, this is a weapon that... I have very little time with. I actually think I may have used this a little bit during my Pyromancer playthrough or considered using it. Um, and then simply because I needed the stats of Pyromancer, I stopped using it. Like, it's a very solid weapon. I don't think anybody's going to argue, uh, argue against that. What's going on there? Um... So yeah, moving on from there though, there's also, the Twin Spears are a weapon that I've always really like wanted to use and just never really given them the time of day just cause they're not, the Drang weapons in general aren't that good. Like I think I would, I would say the Spears are probably better than the, uh, the Maracas. The Maracas are just kind of a disappointment. They, they attack slow as hell. It's really hard to get decent damage in with them. Um, you know, it's just, there's really nothing about it that's like, oh man, this is amazing. I'm so glad that I have these. And the spears, you got lots of poke. You got really good stagger potential. But all in all, they just kind of, I don't know, they're just a bit disappointing, I guess I would say. Isn't there, yeah, I need a bow. Do I have a bow? I don't think I have a bow yet. No. Nothing I can use to knock that out. I'll have to remember that. I mean, on one hand, you could argue we just did a strength build in the Dark Souls 2 randomizer. But I would counter-argue that this is not a run-of-the-mill strength build. We're like... Ah, ah. Like, the giant flame that we imbue our blade with on heavy attacks. It's pretty fucking sexy. I don't think anyone... I mean, you, you can't. You can't be like, Oh, man, it's just another strength build. Like, dude, it's so much sexier than just booping on stuff with... Doubles by hammers. Come on, lady, you're coming back to base. Oh, I am. I came to you, I. Oh, I. Got her. She left. Mm. Oh, help. <laughs> I'm Egon. Oh, help. I, I, and oh. It bothers me that that loot's just sitting there. Let's get these loots real fast. Oh, fuck. I forgot that they throw them. Like, what is this guy doing? Get past the demon, and we're done with this area. Warden wrap. Sunlight metals. Okay, I think that's just about everything. The only thing we're missing 
that, that thing that I gotta shoot down with the bow, and then of course the stuff over here, but we're gonna save that for another episode since we're already at 30 minutes. But so the next part, um, we're gonna be heading up here, taking care of the demon and all that stuff that's right after him, and then following up from that, um, where do we go from there? Where do we go from this area? Did I go this way to get there? I don't remember. I don't remember how we get to the next zone. Oh no, yeah, it is from here. We take this down. That's right, we go down. What's up, buddy? Hmm. Right, you take that down and you fight a frost knight. Okay. So yeah, well... Oh god, no! Wow, fucking... Mm. Xbox Elite Controller fails. I just set down, I got the, the button on the bottom of my Elite, is what I uh, have set to like backstep and run and all that shit, and I uh, I just pressed it, well, I, did, I, I basically set the controller down on my leg, <laughs> and pressed the button, so uh, yeah, anyway, closing this one out, we will catch you guys tomorrow, continuing on, work our way through the rest of Undead Settlement, and then obviously into uh, the area with all the those bastards from the Wizard of Oz. So anyway, make sure to stay tuned, and we'll catch you guys with more tomorrow.